Welcome to DB Handmaids. My name is Danielle, and I know I'm holding up my purse, but I just wanted to show you guys what we're gonna make today. And it's this guy. Look at how cute this is. Ah! Today, we're going to make a beginner friendly crocheted ghost, either pocket pal or a keychain. You could even hang it on your car mirror. It's super cute. You know what's funny though? Yes, there's a happy side, a little happy ghost here, but then on the other side, there's like a really angry vampire ghost on the other side. I just thought it'd be absolutely hilarious. Join me today as we crochet our really cute crochet ghosts. I made this with chenille jumbo size yarn. This is really hard to show up on camera, so I'm actually going to switch over and make a smaller version using a thicker three or four weight yarn in the colors white and black and use a 3.25 millimeter or D crochet hook. If you want to follow along and make the bigger version of the ghost, I suggest using six weight or jumbo size chenille yarn so you can get Bernat blanket yarn in the colors white and black and use a six millimeter or J crochet hook. Additional materials besides your yarn and crochet hook is you're gonna need some scissors, an embroidery or a tapestry needle, and just a tiny bit of polyester filling. Now let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and grab your white yarn, make a slip knot, and put it onto your crochet hook. We're going to make a magic circle, which is chain two, and do six single crochets into the second chain from the hook. Make sure to put your stitch marker into the last single crochet of your round. Make sure round number one has six stitches all the way around. Round number two, we're going to do an increasing single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches. And then make sure to put your stitch marker in the last stitch. Round number three, we're gonna repeat the sequence of single crochet followed by an increasing single crochet. Make sure to repeat this five more times all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. Round number four, we're gonna do one single crochet followed by an increasing single crochet. Then we're gonna repeat the sequence of two single crochets followed by an increasing single crochet. Make sure to repeat that four more times all the way around until you have one stitch left where you will do one single crochet. Make sure you have a total of 24 stitches all the way around from rounds five to 10. We're gonna do single crochets all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. Round number 11, we're actually only gonna work half of the round, so we're gonna only do 12 single crochets. After your 12 single crochet, this is where we would fold our ghost in half and start crocheting through both sides to close up our hole. But before you do that, I encourage you to put safety eyes on both sides. For the happy side of my ghost, I used 15 millimeter safety eyes. On the other side, I used, I think like six or nine millimeter safety eyes. For this, I'm using nine millimeter safety eyes, and then I'm going to use, I don't know what size this is, but it's like, it looks like half the size for my angry side. <laughs> so I placed my eyes between round six and seven. I just wanna make sure that I like the placement of the eyes. And then now I'm going to securely fasten them with the backs. 
And now I'm gonna take some polyester filling and just lightly stuff my ghost. All right, so can I win the game of yarn chicken? We shall see. So let us now fold our ghost in half and we're gonna crochet through both sides. I'm going to do a single crochet, yarn over and do a half double crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet, and we're going to do a double crochet into the last stitch. Then chain one, cut a short tail. And then you're going to eventually weave this into the body. And look, I won yarn chicken, yay! Cut about a two foot or 24 inch tail. Grab your embroidery or tapestry needle and now we're going to make our faces. Let's make our happy face first. our cute little smile. Now we're going to go for the back side. And there you go. So I went ahead and put my cute little ghost on a keychain. And this particular keychain actually turns, which is really cool. So you can easily see both sides. This is just so cute. For as much as I like the smiley face version, I am obsessed with this side. I love the vampire teeth. He's just so angry. <laughs> I think it's my favorite side. It's just so funny to me. I was just really, really obsessed with this because uh, my husband and I are part of a D&D &D group. We just had to fight off the big bad, which was a vampire. And so maybe that's why vampires were just in my brain at this time. I don't know. Anyway, I can't wait to hang it on my purse now. <laughs> I'll be right back. On my purse, I already have a rainbow keychain that I did about a year ago. I'm thinking about putting this one right here. I really love keychains on my purse so that all I have to do is actually grab the keychain. Sometimes my hands, they have a hard time grabbing. Oh, look at how cute that is. And then I just... Oh, that's so cute! It's so cute. Thank you guys so much for joining me in making this really cute ghost keychain or pocket pal. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you loved my yarny shenanigans, well, we made a really cute ghost, go ahead and click subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. And until next time, stay safe, happy, and healthy, and have a wonderful day. Bye! Oh my god. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>